the 15th of January 2008 in the shack of WA7MLH Salem, Oregon. This is order out of chaos on doing a super hit receiver in the antenna portion. I've got just a cable coming here uh, from outside going into a box full of double tuned circuits and in this case I've just uh, got my 75 meter double tuned circuit coming in on the front end and then a uh, double balanced diode ring mixer which is pumped with an LO from one of my uh, 8640B SIG gens. So there's a 5572 on the LO in terms of kilohertz. And then I come out of my mixer um, into a broadband uh, post amp, um, probably got about 16 to 20 dB of gain roughly, 6 dB pad, and then coming into my crystal filter that I got from W7ZOI. And this is a really cool little unit um, uh, made by Hughes Aircraft. And um, this is a 1750 uh, kilohertz uh, crystal filter with some pretty steep skirts on it. Wes said the stop band attenuation was not the swiftest, but uh, skirts were pretty amazing, so I may uh, be able to augment that with some other crystals that I've got. And then the crystal filter feeds a hybrid um, uh, IF amp, variable, variable gain IF amp. There's about three stages here. And this is one of the uh, earlier versions that I'd built up for uh, just the bench relative to the uh, paper that Wes and I did in QST for uh, December of 2007. So the IF amp comes out into a homemade uh, uh, double balanced uh, diode ring mixer which is pumped with BFO energy at 1750 kilohertz from another 8640B and then the output of that uh, mixer um, is just alligator clip leaded at audio into a little box here that I made that's um, essentially just an audio amplifier with volume control that's uh, um, already set up to be the interface, the audio interface for uh, 50 ohm outputs of diode ring mixers so that I have a generic uh, bench amplifier to simply be able to hook onto things and, and get some audio gain. And here's what some of the audio is sounding like.